All right, so Capital Improvement Planning Committee meeting, January 27th, 2022, uh, 6.30 p.m. ish, 6.40 p.m. Um, so the first uh, agenda item there is, is approval of meeting minutes from uh, January 13th. Make a motion we approve. Um, Second. The only comment I'd like to make is that I looked like you had written the time down as starting at 6.03. For those for that meeting, and I believe it started at closer to five. Oh yeah, five or three. Yep. So. <laughs> Any other comments? Edits. I make a motion. We accept yep. the minutes as amended. All right. Is there a second? Second. All right, we'll do a roll call vote. I'll do it by my screen. Uh, Maureen? Uh, Dan? Yes. Grant? Yes. Nicholas? Yes. Fred? Yes. Darcy? Yep. All right. And I couldn't hear Maureen for some reason, but it doesn't look like you're on mute. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, she, she can't hear her. She may have to drop out and reconnect to audio. She can obviously hear us. Yeah. Lip reading is just not a strength. <laughs> okay. All right, so she'll, she'll have to be back. You know, jumping Zoom rooms, you can kind of lose stuff. So, yeah, it's kind of like changing dimensions and time warps and stuff here. It hasn't been perfected yet. Um, hmm. So we'll keep going then. Um, I think Maureen will be back shortly. Um, so discuss the site visit to the highway garage on January 24th and consider making a recommendation to the select board about the future needs of the highway department. Yeah. Does anybody want to start that discussion? I'll just say I think it was a it was a very I, I personally found it to be a very worthwhile visit. Appreciated the fact that Nicholas sort of suggested it. Um, Keith spent some really quality time with us. It, I think it helped us understand, helped me understand the the two big pieces of equipment. Got a little bit of a sense of the longer term issues with the highway garage. Um, so I, I can't wait feeling much better armed to make the decisions tonight about the, the capital stuff for the highway department. We really- I, I agree with Brant and I was, I was struck by one thing in particular that Keith had to say, which was that there were some piece of equipment or replacements or whatever that the town can't even consider buying because of the facility, that they just won't fit into the building. Yeah. That's Which just on. led me to think that we've got to at least begin the process of thinking about replacing that rather, rather than just talking about we need to replace it, that we need to start developing plans. We, we have no idea where the money's gonna come from at this point. That needs to start with the select board or or whatever to appoint a committee to investigate for the new capital for a new uh, the building committee. Not with us. So does that sort of thing, Dan, just sort of arise organically within the select board, or should the well, no, I, should I, this I, committee I, make a recommendation to the select? Well, board I think we can it? ask Brian, but I think it's the, uh, the building committee is is the one that's going to have to start getting involved. And normally those positions are appointed by the select board, I think. Am I right, Brian? Yeah, you're correct. Um, this is, you know, it would be a capital improvement. So I think, you know, it would be proper for this committee to, to make that recommendation um, okay. to the select board if, if that's if that's the feeling of, of this committee. Um, Just to get them going. Right, I, I, I think that helps that there's sort of a written recommendation to the select board that the select board can act on. 
um, um, and what the select board do, does with that. Um, Fine, you know, I think, along with that. Yeah, we can make notes for that and recommend it. Do them. We can all vote on it if you want. I go along with it. So should we have a like literally have a motion, for example, here and now to draft a letter to the select board recommending like one of the things we talked about, like Fred and I and, and Nicholas and and it was Maureen or who was there with us at the highway at the site visit, right? Was well, Darcy, you weren't able to make it. But I think we talked informally about the need for the town to let a, a request for proposals for to, to hire a consultant. This, well, this is basically what Keith said that he, Keith, the highway department couldn't put together a request for proposals for a new building. He'd really want a, a, a consultant to help develop a, a set of requirements. So the first step is to hire a consultant, which I, would have to be done using an open competitive process. Am I right, Brian? Um, yes, um, it's a much more involved process um, with specific requirements or mass general law um, projects. I, I believe it's one and a half million dollars have a construction cost of one and a half million dollars. We have to go through a designer selection process. Um, which is 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 how we is how we competitively bid out for yeah. um for who's going to essentially be the architect or or the engineer firm mm -hmm. that's going to design the building so um there's there's a process that's that's set in law that we would have to follow and it's going to be expensive so yeah Keith said something like the Deerfield Highway Department building which was is that 2014? Does what Nicholas Morin, do you remember? Yeah, that sounds right. And he said it was $5 million. $5 million And Keith's estimate for what we would need would be like twice that, like $10 million. Well, yeah, but at, at this point, we don't even know what we need. Right. Whether, whether it will be as much as Deerfield needed or, I mean, that's what we need is a feasibility type study, yeah. even before a design study of you know to figure out what we need and maybe figure out where it might go so procedural question for tonight we have a lot of important things to do tonight in the time that we have to get through prioritizing what's before us should we maybe table <clears throat> this discussion or can we do it sort of by email offline about basically what would be in a recommendation letter to the select board, but not spend time here and now, kind of even word, not even wordsmithing, but trying to discuss further what that recommendation would look like. I think we should go on with our business and just send a letter recommending that the a committee be formed to look into the feasibility and the type of building that we need for a new highway garage. We shouldn't be getting involved in it now. We got too much work to do to get done for the finance committee, which has already started. Okay, I'm good with that. Should we take that as a motion? I'll second it if we do. Right. <laughs> I present that as a motion. All right. Maybe so, what is the motion? To send a letter to the select board to request them that we think it's time that they get a committee appointed for a feasibility study and what needs to be done, what type of a garage we need to build and they go forward from there. They'll pick one from probably from this committee, one from finance, they'll have Keith on the committee and that's where it all starts. If I remember right from the highway, or from the fire department. All right, so Fred seconded that. Yep, yep. so that was seconded. So I'll, 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 any other comments? So I'll, I'll go around my Zoom screen again. Uh, 
Dan? Aye. Brant? Yes. Nicholas? Yes. Fred? Yes. Darcy? Yes. Maureen? Yes. Okay. All right, discuss and prioritize capital projects proposed for funding in fiscal year 2023. In the past, we've um, we've gone through when we've prioritized projects, but I just wanna make sure that um, folks received the additional information that I had received and also what Maureen had sent out. Yeah. Um, I don't know that if we need to, I don't know that we need to go over that in the meeting, but I just wanna make sure that people have received it. Yes, and I think the only thing we have to change on our our uh, the layout that you gave us for tonight is that uh, the phase two. She she said phase one and phase two, so phase two I think should be deferred out till next year. I agree. For air conditionings, and also we need to make a correction on. Uh, the flooring replacement, and they says for three rooms, and according to that note that I read, it's two rooms this year and two rooms next year. Yes, I agree right. with that. So it's we'll correct that. And we need a dollar amount for the difference that that's going to make of three down to two rooms, whether it still be the 22,000 or not. It's a little odd that this thing started as a three year phased project with three rooms a year and we're now in the third year and they're saying oh there's actually four rooms and they want to add an extra year to it the original start was for the classrooms that's why it was that way this okay. is now including the other rooms in the school is that all right marie um yes so these these two, the two that we're talking about now are for the art, art slash music room and the staff lounge. And maybe, um, I was gonna say maybe the staff lounge is bigger than a classroom, but it's probably not. I don't really know. Because we were doing 12,000 a year for two classrooms, if I remember correctly. I think it was, I feel like it was 22,000 last year, but I don't remember. And it was three, it was three rooms last year and the year before. Well, I, I just talked to them today to ask which rooms were for this year. And they said, um, it was 21,000 last year. It was 21,000. It was for two rooms. Yes. It was, it was the, um, I can't read my writing. The resource room and the after school room. Oh, wait a minute. It wasn't 20, it wasn't That's different 20. information than I have. I, well, I have uh, replaced carpets with tiles in three rooms and $20,000. That was last year. The year before yeah, was. You're, was, you're right. I was, I was reading the. Uh, uh, three rooms uh, and $20,000. Adelia, will you give me a call when you get a chance? 665. Three eight three seven. No emergency. I just have another thought for you. Okay. We, Sorry about that. Call me. We can probably leave it go at twenty two thousand, then and then the once the estimates come in, it will be covered. Well, we're yeah. talking about two two rooms or three rooms. Two rooms. Two rooms. The art music room and the staff room. Well, if it's two rooms, then it shouldn't be as much as 22,000. So we should change the, the, the reading of it to be two rooms, not to exceed X number of dollars or whatever. You know, and you have to put that in, but we just prioritize it anyways. We're not doing the dollar amount. Just change it to two rooms and we'll go with the 22 and that will be discussed by the finance for the monies to what they really need because they'll have to give estimates. That makes sense to me as well. Yeah, yeah I agree. And okay. we're also, I gather the batting cages request is withdrawn. That has been uh, 
Yeah. CPA. <clears throat> All right, so should we just go top to bottom, starting with the athletic fields? Yeah, let me share my screen here so you can keep track of. I wonder if I can share both. Can you see the, the capital project prioritization criteria and then the memorandum? Yes. yes. You see both those, okay. On the left is the criteria that the committee has used in the past, priority A, priority B, priority C, and those are the definitions for each of those. Um, and what we've done in the past is we've prioritized the projects A, B, or C, um, and then that's been the report of the Capital Improvement Planning Committee. Um, and then the finance committee um, and select boards have discussions about how we would fund these. So do we want, so we took out batting cages. So um, accessibility improvements to restrooms and parking lot at Hurley Park. So my own view is that that's a priority A. There are um, all kinds of accessibility requirements. There are ADA concerns. Um, needed to make it a much more uh, valuable resource for the town and other users. Any other thoughts on that? The only other thought is even though it doesn't, it doesn't play into the priority, but there is a park grant for roughly half. Of the yes. Yeah, I've been, I've been reminded that I'm not supposed to be thinking about the money. <laughs> So I'm not. So I'll, I'll put together a list here. Um, and then we'll vote on it at the end. Does that sound good? Yes. Okay, so the next one would be fence replacement and installation. Well, are we, again, are we just moving by consensus? So we should just make sure everyone has consensus that the accessibility improvements to Hurley Park is a priority A before we move on. Any objections? And then hearing none, we can move on to. All right. Cemetery, fence replacement and installation of granite benches. <clears throat> Any thoughts? I, I, I guess I would put that as a C. And what's your thinking there, Nicholas? I was at least putting it maybe as a B in my own mind. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's um, a time sensitive nature to it. It seems like it would be a great thing to, to do, but uh, it could be deferred to another year without, a, without significant losses taking place. I wouldn't necessarily say it's time sensitive. However, the fence does need to be repaired. Uh, and we are getting pressure that it's like a mangled mess right now and needs to be dealt with. So that's the only pressure we have in terms of time sensitivity. <laughs> Number one was a C last year. And I think that if you're getting comments like that, then maybe those damaged parts should be taken down yeah. And you're, you're going to only, you're not going to be doing all four sides with the post, are you? Uh, three sides if we do the entire fence. Okay. Yeah. Is it possible to split this with calling the fence replacement a B and the benches a C? That's what I would like to see is them separated from one another. <laughs> So I think the benches are what's holding you up. Yeah, because you know, the benches are a C to me. You, you had the uh, you had the fence in last year. This year you put the fence plus you added the benches. Yeah, yeah. If they could be separated, I would be okay with that. So could somebody remind me? 
my recollection of last year is that we had a request from cemeteries that ended up getting ranked a C, as I recall. And I, found this, I have this vague concern now after this being my second year here that if we just keep throwing cemeteries as a priority C, then we, we kind of starve it of resources. At what point do we decide that we've neglected the investment for long enough that just that by, by doing that, it deserves a higher priority? I think we're doing that if we're calling the fencing a B now. I agree. Often aren't C priorities funded anyways? It's not like we're saying don't fund it. That is up to the finance committee because they're the ones that determine what monies we have left. Yeah. And that's what will yep. be funded. If you read C, it says if the monies aren't there, then we'll, we just don't do it now. So the, the, right. the, veter the Veterans Memorial Park was a C and that got funded this past year. Mm -hmm. so, it, it often comes down to the, the size of the investment. That mm -hmm. a large investment C will probably okay. not get funded. A small investment C might well be. Mm. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah. I do feel like if there's, if there are damaged fences that are not historically appropriate. Rather than simply doing the cheap thing, just taking out the fences and leaving it without fences, I would much rather see the fences. I would prioritize replacing the fences and then um, lower the priority. I mean, I like the idea of the, uh, of the I'm sorry, of the, um, benches. the benches, but it's, true that I would see that as a lower priority. Right. So I think I'm endorsing the BC split here, um, funding the, prioritizing it be the fencing and the benches as a state. All right, then let's just split that in half, Brian, and make two, two requests on it. Yep. Uh, first I agree. first I like request to be for the fence, we'll put down as a B. The second one, benches, we'll put down as a C. And yep. then we'll get separate requ money requests for those two parts. Yes. Yep. Darcy, you're good with that? I am absolutely good with that, yes. Thank you. All right, let's do that. All right, that seems like everybody. Um, floor and replacement, and it'll be adjusted to two rooms at the elementary school. I always put that as an A. Yeah, I would agree. Agreed. We put that as a B last year. And it, we did put it as a B last year and it got approved. Oh, that's and, a good point. And a, a B in 2020. Well, I guess Nicholas has a point. <clears throat> now, do, is flooring, I mean, it's, it's needed, but is it as urgent high priorities, you know, like the accessibility improvements that probably like, Seems like it's more of a B than a. As opposed to the dishwasher, which seems right. like it's going right. to be an A when we get oh to it. Oh my God, the dishwasher is like <laughs> above an A. How could it even last that long? It's an A but plus. It's an A plus. I like that. The original reason we started with the floors as an A is because there was a problem with mold. Ah. What, what year was that? I don't remember that. Well, it must have been the year before you come on. <laughs> um, I don't remember what year it was. Okay, is I'm just saying there's last, last year and the year before they were Bs, and I thought this was the third year of a three-year plan. Is there still a mold problem? I have I not heard about it. I think the issue with the floors, at least as we were was reported last year, was hard to clean. Yeah. Um, Hard to clean and, and and just hard to maintain. Hard for the maintenance group. Yeah, the, the carpets are getting old and they're a little bit ratty and they're hard to clean, especially if a kid gets sick um, or spills something. The flooring is much easier to clean. Yeah. That makes it an A right there when you said they get sick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's get it done. Because okay. they got 
they got stuff coming out in the future. If you look at the uh, next year's plan, they've already pushed out the, or we're going to be pushing out the air conditioner phase two. That's another 37,000. So we, we can't keep pushing out. I still say we keep with where we put it the last two years, we put it as a B. Well, I'm finding myself persuaded by Roger slash Dan's arguments for an A. Thank you, I say A. Are the floors now carpets? The ones that are being replaced, I think are carpets. I mean, if you're going down the protocols of the pandemic issues, carpets aren't great. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if this is one of those things that that funding could, but that's I not, that's not yeah. 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 That's another that's committee. For the ARPA yeah. committee to discuss. Yeah. yeah, but it is, yeah, it could be used for that for sure. I think again, those are good arguments that move it up towards to an the, A. Yeah, urgent high priority this year. Yeah. Any objections to having it A? Well, I guess I wonder if it's so urgent, why didn't they went from three down to two? Uh, I have a feeling that that three is carried over from previous years that um, whoever create, whoever is updating the spreadsheet might've copied and pasted a row or something, but I don't know for sure. Hmm. Hmm. The main difference is they added it on, so let's we, we got it down to two because of the additional ones they're putting on for the other office and stuff. I guess I would say again, if it was really urgent, wouldn't they want the last four all taken care of? Um, no, because they're not for the students. Oh, well, one of them is, yeah, but uh. All right, let's, let's not get hung up on it. Yeah. <clears throat> well, we can simply do a roll call of uh, letters and, and see what, uh, what, what, what gets the most votes. That sounds like a good idea. Okay, Brian, lead us off. All right, so let's just say I'll do roll call for those who think it's priority A and then we'll by default figure out B. Okay. Or less. Um, now my Zoom screen's all, all moved around. Um, uh, Dan? Yes. Or A. Uh, Brant? Yes, for A. Fred? A. Darcy? A. Maureen? A. I guess I got to ask Nicholas. I'm, I'm, <laughs> sticking, I'm sticking with B, but at least we've we've decided, so that's good. All right. Um, elementary school air conditioning phase one. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. So the additional information that that Maureen circulated was very helpful. Um, just looking. It was, I thought it was a little weak myself. Uh, I do feel like the issue of, is the air conditioning bringing in fresh air from the outside? Is it helping with filtration? Is it helping with air circulation and all the COVID related con concerns around that was not really answered uh, yeah. with the air, the air conditioning question. Uh, I, I don't doubt that they need air conditioning in there. Um, yeah, I don't think the purpose of it was for cleaning the air. I think it was because of the inc increasing temperatures, um, the hot temperatures. I uh, Here's a little aside. My daughter, who's in fifth grade, saw this and she said, I don't want them to get air conditioning. We won't have any more half days because we did have a couple <laughs> half days because of wearing masks with the heat on those 95 degree days. Um, so there is that. And 
I can tell you it does get very hot in that building. Yeah, there's a bit, I'm struggling with this a little bit. Um, I think since I have many splits throughout my house, I can, I can tell you they do nothing in terms of, you know, there's no air exchange. It's just recirculating interior air. So it's got no bearing on COVID or ventilation. It's just a pure heating, cooling thing. It's an energy efficiency thing. Um, so, so that's good. Um, I definitely would, I would have a hard time putting it as a, as an A. I, I do see the arguments. I do feel like we are going to be seeing more hot days, you know, into September, maybe beyond May and June will probably increasingly be hot. So, um, You know, so I'd put it at least as a B and I might be able to be talked down to a C, but I think I'd be, it would be hard to persuade me that it's an A. Yeah, I, I, I could go with a, a B as well. Um, I wouldn't put it as a C. I, I think the heat when it gets that hot, it does yeah. affect everyone is lethargic. Yeah. And I don't uh, think it's good for people. And it's, you know, I think we should be investing in our elementary school. And I have, I have heard of, of a staff member having to go home because of heat stroke. All right, so we have at least two Bs. Nicholas, where are you on this? I think I'm a B. I'm a B. Yeah. 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 I, I'm a B as well. All right, let's make it a B. Right. Phase two is deferred till next year. I guess the only thing I would add is Maureen, maybe in your next conversation with the, the school, um, just check in about the air filtration. I mean, if they're if they're if the school is gonna decide in a year that they really want to do filtration. Also, maybe, maybe now is maybe they should be done yeah. together. Yeah. Well, uh, they've had their venting system updated and filters replaced. I don't know all the technical okay. parts right. of it, but but they were they were graded very very well for okay. their That's air good. quality. Yeah, I, I don't want to. I don't. I, it seems like really inappropriate for us to micromanage the departments in any in any way on, on this committee. So I don't want to be doing that. I agree with you. But I think that's a great point. Like if they're, if they haven't been thinking about improving ventilation, that's a major capital investment. And it, that would be appropriate for us to be asking whether that's what they should be investing in versus, you know, things like, you know, interior heating, cooling systems. I, I'm positive that they have improved ventilation and air quality. Yeah, I would I'm hope sure so. it's been done. Okay. Since COVID, all the schools have to have that reviewed and updated. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I, I think it's fair to ask whether whether ductless mini splits based on the current HVAC system that's installed is the is the right move. But um I, I guess we'll leave that to people who know better than yeah. at least better than me. Um And Maureen, I can also have a I can also have a talk with Jamrog. There, they also service the town offices, and I can have a talk with Jason about what his recommendation is too. Um, all right, so we'll keep it. Uh, we'll put it as a B. Uh, yeah. Did I hear the dishwasher is going to be an A? Yes, it's I definitely yeah. an A. My side, yeah. they really should have sent some photographs. I mean, that would have been a that would have made it a slam dunk. But it's just, they should get an award for getting this much life out of the existing dishwasher. I mean, it must be huge, right? It must be huge. The only statement I would make on that is I just, I've been on the uh, Frontier Capital Committee and they're saying that estimates for kitchen equipment are coming in much higher this year than would have been expected. Yeah. 
Everything's it, gonna. Well, but kitchen equipment apparently is just not available. So the prices are high. I just want to make sure that whatever we, if we attach a figure to this, that it'd be sufficient. Yeah. Maybe they're made by those same people who are making the, the car computer chips. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what, whatever it is, it, this is an issue. The things are the kitchen equipment is just coming in high. Well, we all agree it should be an A. So let's move on. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh, town hall door accessibility improvements. Um, <laughs> I would go with an A. It seems it seems important to me, um, but I also think that. Um, Given how few people are using the town hall currently, I'm not muted. I guess I'm wondering whether in in this year it's it's critically important. So to, to since we again had this conversation minutes ago that priority B doesn't mean that it's not going to get funded. Um, I think you're saying Nicholas that this thing, this could be a B and still get funded. But it's not so important that it needs to be given priority. Like I, mean, I, I, don't, I don't exactly know how many groups are currently using the town hall historical society. Uh, let's hope that in a few months, a lot more groups will be using it and that it will be needed more. I mean, that, that's what we hope. Yeah. Let's keep in mind next year, town hall's got $80,000 for paint. So let's get this done. Yeah, I mean, if we wait a whole year it, and then the town hall's getting used a lot more later this year and this isn't done, I don't know if it's gonna be an issue. Um, I, don't, I don't believe in pushing things off because you, all you're doing is building up your Next year, we already got for the uh, town hall. You've got an eighty thousand and a fifteen thousand. Mm. That's so a let's very get good. Get this point. done. I guess, though, given our um, our criteria, I would call it a B, a B priority. I'm just looking at this one more time. So these are the accessibility improvements. Or maybe it's an A. It says typically address safety concerns or compliance issues. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think it's an A. Okay. Yeah. I think it's an A. Safety concerns would bring it under an A. I agree. Oh, let's go. A. All right, everybody good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it does have to be an A, I think. Um, F replace F550, uh, yeah, F550. Oh, so now we're on the highway department. Oh, we're doing dump truck, right? <laughs> yeah, that's the same thing. Yep. That's a small dump truck, yep. Yep. Yeah, and I will, just for these two items, the dump truck and the tractor, it was interesting that when we did the site visit, um, Keith suggested that the tractor, the second item was his highest priority and that he thought that he could, you know, get more, get more service out of the dump truck. But I came away from that visit, and I'd like to hear from the others who were there, feeling like both of them were High priority. I mean, the tractor is obsolete. I mean, it really, it's, it's, it, it's heavily used. It's, you know, you just can't, just can't extend its life any longer. The I can't dump everybody. truck is a frontline vehicle that gets tremendous amount of use. So I would put them both as an A. I think that the tractor gets, would get a higher priority because if it breaks down, it essentially is out of service for months, whereas the dump truck can be repaired. Yeah. And yeah, it could be out of service for maybe a few days. 
Yeah, I could see from Keith's perspective, he would rank them that way. But then when I take his rankings, I wouldn't necessarily map the tractor into category A for us and the dump truck into category B. I, I think that, you know, my assessment of that dump truck is that it's, it's had a good life and uh, it, it, it needs to be replaced. And it's gonna take some time for that to get done. So we might as well start. Nicholas, what were you thinking as you looked at that dump truck? I was, I think, um, following Keith's lead when he was talking about it, I was thinking it was a priority B. You thought it, you saw it as a B. Yeah. I, I think it'd be great to replace it. I just don't think it's uh, of the top priority. Yeah, Ke Keith wasn't really expressing urgency to replace it. He seems like a kind of laconic guy that doesn't express a lot of urgency. In well, but he did for the tractor saying, you know, the electrical yeah, that's true. is the impossible. Harness. Yeah. The harnesses yeah. are just impossible. Yeah. All right. The then let's make, the, let's make the dump truck a B and the, and the tractor, tractor an A. a. Yep. Okay. Everybody good? Yes. Yep. Yep. All right. I'll, I'll go along with that. Keep in step with safety and what we've been doing in the past. I think the uh, cruiser should be an A. Yeah, I think the cruiser is an A. It's we've been expecting it. But this is a scheduled, yeah, 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 replacement. Yeah, Jim. Uh, Jim was. I'd asked Jim to come tonight, uh, and he just sent me a text. He is currently um, on the other link. No, he's currently work involved. Let's put it that way. <laughs> well, then no cruiser for him. No. <laughs> so, he said he, he's just, uh, yeah. Let's say he was involved in yeah. <laughs> town business. <laughs> Hopefully it's not that the existing cruiser is broken down. You, you and he may be using the cruiser, so. You can't tell us what his text said? <laughs> Want me to spell it? <laughs> I just want you to say it. Uh, he might be using the he might be using the cruiser right now. Let's put it that way. Okay. You might be reading about it in tomorrow's news. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I I I'm in for a a on the cruiser. Agreed. Agreed. Yep. 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 Um, what's upgrade uh, treasure collector software? So I'm biased in favor of software. I mean, it's given how out of date the existing software is, um, the fact that the existing out of, out of date software um, impacts the efficiency of town offices and our staff and has first and second order adverse impacts that way. To me, it, it comes across as an A. My computer background, I say it's an A because you wait too long. You can't even transfer that stuff. Yep. Yeah, I agree. Agreed. I do too. Agreed. And uh, Brian, in your conversations with Lynn, your reasonably confident that she made a, you know, um, an appropriately thorough evaluation <clears throat> of the options to, you know, a, a sufficiently knowledgeable one that she could settle on the Vader. <clears throat> oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm very confident that. Okay. Yes, very confident. Okay. Yeah, I don't know Lynn well enough to know that, but thank you. Yep. Yeah, she gave a very thorough mm -hmm. explanation. Okay. Good. Um, library, fire door from the main room. I'm going to say A. Like, yeah, safety. Yeah. Issue. Absolutely. A. 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 We, have a lot, we have a lot more A's on this year's list than usual. Doesn't make any difference. 
Oh, yeah. we do, yeah. And then the last one, uh, library, uh, replace yeah. four computers. Again, I, I would say B, very I, important, but not urgent. I agree. Mm. Agree. I like B. Yep. I'll, I'll, I'll vote for A, but I'm happy to be in the minority there. I mean, I tend to feel like it's of, of all the things that we've we're voting on, like five thousand dollars. I mean, it's not nothing. I agree. You know, we're, we're not a, a large town, and five thousand dollars is real money. Um, but well, again, I'll get back to Dan, Dan's point. We're about priorities. Yeah. I, I really don't doubt that this will actually be funded this year. Yeah. Yeah, it probably 90% chance it will. Right. I, I don't doubt it will be funded, but as far as a priority, it's not urgent. Not a life threatening thing. Okay. I'm, I'm sufficiently persuaded to live with a B. All right. Water department. Uh, water department truck replacement savings. I that's I think it's not really a, a, a purchase. It's more of a I don't know that we ever really prioritize that. Um, water department, water storage, tank cleaning, and inspection. Um, we we have we have prioritized the truck replacement every year. Oh, have we? Okay. And, and we've always said A. I think we should say A again. So this, just to clarify for my clarity here, Nicholas, this is $5,000 of capital monies that are going to be set aside for a future. So this is basically building a stabilization fund. Well, basically it's setting aside their money. Yeah, so, so, so the water department is what's called an enterprise fund. So all revenue goes into that fund and all their expenses get paid out of that fund. They don't, they don't have, um, for however the law was written, they don't, they can't create sort of stabilization accounts within the enterprise fund. So they need to move it out to a separate fund. I see. And so we're authorizing them to, to take 5,000 in enterprise funds that they've they've not had to expend and in effect pass them over to the town for safekeeping for a future truck replacement. It's, Nicholas, basically, it's, it's nice. basically the same way we've been doing it for our trucks. Yes, we treat it okay. as if it yeah. was part of the towns. Okay. Still learning all the ins and outs of the way these the towns are financed. So <laughs> it takes time. Yeah, I appreciate that. So, and so yeah, wanna... water storage tank cleaning seems like it's a safety thing, right? So it's an A. That's the mandated by the state, probably so. I would say A. Yes. Are we doing an A for both of those? I think so. Yeah. This is like the easiest committee to be part of. <laughs> Any committee, miss, any committee that you don't have to answer to the town about monies is easy. <laughs> it's called the Give Us Your Opinion Committee. Right. right. So, Dan, are you also on the Finance Committee? Yes. Ah, that's that explains. Yes. Yeah. Dan and I have a tougher job now. We got to figure out how to pay for these. Yeah. <laughs> right. So better you than me, right? All right. Does that look right? How would I have on the left? Because that's what I'll propose that we. Because you keep saying on the left. I'm looking at no. a Word document. Yeah, but I'm read seeing the you... list of bullets. Yeah, that's right, Brent. The bullets. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Let me hear that. Yeah. Looks so, good. Should we do a, a vote on the whole collection or? Sure. Yeah, I would say the whole thing. 
Yeah, yep. so I move to accept this prioritization as shown here. Second. Do we, do we have to read these off, Brian, because of uh, Zoom? It, it's all on the video. Yeah, I think it's on the video. I think that's all right. Okay, good. Yes, I agree. I second a motion, we accept as the balloons are. Um, okay, let's do a roll call vote. Um, I swear my screen keeps changing. Uh, Bram. Yes. Fred. Yes. Nicholas. Yes. Darcy. Yes. Maureen. Yes. Oh, who's left? I am. Ah, uh, Dan. Yeah, me, yes. All right. It doesn't help I have six <laughs> screens and seven people. You didn't get Roger. Oh, and Roger, yeah, the eighth person to vote. Yeah, yeah Roger Dan. <laughs> Don't split the vote, though. <laughs> All right, so that motion passed, and this will be the recommendation that we send to the uh, Finance Committee and Select Board. Very good. Um, next item is unanticipated items or any other thing people want to discuss? Um, I mean, just maybe, I don't want to keep people on this call any longer than we need to, but besides the highway department building, it seemed like I saw this list of similar infrastructures in town, many of which I've never heard of, like Smike's house, sorry, I don't know what Smike's house is, but where I saw like rows of TBDs. So I guess the question is, when or if do we think about long-term capital improvement plans for some of these other things? And maybe the highway department building is the most important one, but I was looking at a spreadsheet and it seemed like I saw some other things. There are a lot of items out there, yes, that are extended out, but we're voting on requests submitted to this committee. I don't disagree. Um, you know, in some sense, our job for the year is now done. But I seem to recall last year a little conversation like, do we ever look beyond the next fiscal year? Yes, like we looked beyond for the uh, highway department. Okay. The, build, the, the building. We've already discussed last year, I think it was, we discussed the uh, addition to fire department. Or maybe that was the other committee, I forget. But that's been discussed. Yes. Yeah. If, if, if the question is how do, how do things become listed here? Um, well, I think that might be part of the question. Um, it's typically submitted by by those department heads or boards and committees that um, are responsible for these facilities. Um, I will admit that it's been a struggle to try to um, get thinking beyond, you know, one or two years, except yeah. for vehicles. Um, there's, you know, Keith and, and Jim do a pretty good job of, of projecting out when they're, when they think their vehicles need to be replaced. Um, in terms of facilities, you know, for the longest time, if you would have asked me who was responsible for our facilities, I would probably would hesitate to give you an answer um, until a couple of years back when we sort of added some uh, responsibilities to Keith, to his job. Um, but he'll be the first to tell you that he's not a he's not a building guy. Um, you know, he, his expertise is not in facility upkeep and in, in maintenance of you know the town hall is really a, a commercial building a modern commercial building mm -hmm. um so we we don't we don't have a lot of projects projected out i guess mm -hmm. um that's helpful i guess what was triggering is i was looking at the the spreadsheet a uh, worksheet on facilities and buildings and I saw things like, you know, 
for the fire station. There's a lot something that says addition to fire station, you know, all TBD. Yep. Um, and yeah, I get. I guess I got to wonder whether, like, who's advocating? Like, clearly Keith is advocating with varying degrees of success for getting some motion going on a new highway garage. And maybe this year he at least got us to agree to write a letter of recommendation to the select board to get things going. But it's not clear, like, would we, I don't even, like, does the fire chief think a new addition to the fire station is needed? And how are, you know, do we just, we don't have to even think about that until the fire chief says, yay, verily, now I want to, this is important. I, I would say that we would respond to any requests or suggestion by the people who actually use the building. Okay. Um, and I, you know, I, I agree. It, it's, it's, uh, it's not this committee to be uh, going out and looking for that. Uh, there should be some responsibility, I would think, for the uh, uh, building committee to to be researching some of this. Okay. So you've this is the second time you've mentioned a building committee to me, which was only vaguely in my memory, so or my awareness. So I'm to understand there's some other committee whose mission is to worry about buildings in town. Is that right? I, I I would say so, right, Brian? The, the building committee is gets yeah. Some... The, the building committee has kind of gone dormant since the the town hall was. We need a rest. Project <laughs> was finished. I I I agree. So I, I think it's a good time to analyze sort of going forward what's going to be, you know, most efficient yeah. and effective to getting that done. All right, well, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna push the point, but what I seem to be learning after two years of this is that stuff happens in these buildings and and you know we can do a certain amount reactively, but and maybe that's the way we operate in the town. But even in the town offices, I have to believe that somebody at Sandy, Sandy Lane is looking around and periodically thinking, oh, we need to do this or that, and ultimately getting those requests in. Maybe that's you, Brian, for town offices. Well, I know yeah. that uh, on the finance, it, it took us about 10 years to get Frontier to finally come out with a long range plan so that we knew what to expect mm. in the next two or three years. And uh, they've finally done that. And uh, there's, there was a, they appointed their own committee to do that, but it took a long time to get them to do it. I, I think it took a new superintendent to get them to do it. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. that could be. But we got that done anyway. So a lot of these are being worked on by other committees, you might say, I guess. Mm -hmm. But I think that the building committee's got to be given some kind of a push or a... a something to get them going on looking at the town buildings to see where we are going with them. I mean, the, the, the select board is taking care of uh, trying to find out what we're gonna do with East Wadey School, the center school and things mm -hmm. like that. But we still have lots out there and, mm -hmm. and that other stuff. Yeah. So maybe that's a recommendation from this committee to the town administrator to kind of reboot the building committee with a broader mandate to develop, start to develop, I don't know, a five-year plan for capital improve, maintenance and improve, well, not maintenance, but capital improvements to town buildings. Maybe. I, I would think that that probably, that question should be more directed to uh, the uh, select board. The select board. Because they're the ones that I'm pretty sure those on the billing committee are appointed by the select board, aren't they, Brian? Mm. 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 
Okay, well, maybe as a, at least a uh, trial balloon, let's just see if our recommendation of the select board regarding a highway department building goes anywhere. <laughs> because if the let's, select board won't even bite on that one, they're not going to look any further. All right, let's start there. We'll leave it at that. Okay. All right, I'm happy to declare success for tonight. And I guess oh, that means Brand, there is Brand. no next meeting. Sorry, for, for your information, Brant, the Smikes House is the building to the left of the post office. It's owned by the town and managed for rental by Franklin County. Okay. Oh, to the left of the post the, on office. The, right, the opposite this, side. This is the, the one, the one in, in, in West, you know, we have a post it, office down our way in no, lower. No, the, the, the center, of town post okay. office, the building to the north of it is the Smite oh, House. Okay. Oh, okay. Learn something new every day. And that's me. another issue with regard <laughs> that Brian and I have dealt with, with regard oh. to the management contract. Okay. Yeah. Which is a mess. And we is had it, a lot of we had a lot of consultations with them about the parking lot at the town hall too. Right. Mm -hmm. Is it premature to make a motion to adjourn? No. <laughs> do, do we need to schedule another meeting? I saw that on the agenda. Oh, maybe it's premature. I don't, I don't think so, unless anybody feels the need to. No, I think we're good. So just next year. I mean, this is a fun group, but yeah. Good. Yeah. <laughs> it, it always, if something comes up it, that's within the purview of the committee, I, I will definitely not hesitate to take up your time and call a meeting ask to call a meeting okay sounds good all right, all right. so you're it's your take time Nicholas. second all, all right. right good night everybody thanks good everybody. night, all right. good good night. night. Bye thank you brian thank you yep. thank you brian. Good work, everyone